So hi guys, welcome to an another video of Tech Studio. For more videos related to technology, please stay connected with us. Today's video is all about persistence of vision, which is commonly known as POV. Here I will show you the complete procedure of making a POV display including the circuit connection and the Arduino code. So take a quick look to the components and let's see how to make this. First of all, take these 5 LEDs and a Vero board. Put these 5 LEDs in the Vero board one by one. Once you done this, take the soldering iron and solder all the positive and negative pins of the LEDs. Short all the negative pins and make them common. Now use one single piece of wire and connect it to the negative pins which is sorted previously. Take some other pieces of wires and connect them to the positive pins of the LED. Now to make the connection easier with the Arduino, I used the male header pins and here I connect all the wires to the male header pins. And in future we will connect the male header pins to the Arduino by the help of the jumper wire. Once you have done this, keep the circuit aside and jump to the next step. Now take a plastic container like this and make a hole in the middle of the container. Take a DC motor of 300 RPM and fix it in the container. You can also use the motor of higher RPM. Here this is the wooden piece which I have to rotate by the help of the DC motor. So I take one shaft coupling to mount the wooden piece with the motor. This will make the system balanced and we can easily avoid the problem of vibration. Now take the circuit once again and fix it in the one side of the wooden piece. Fix all the things properly so that it will not create any problem during the time of rotation. Take the Arduino Nano and fix it to the other side of the wooden piece. You can also use Arduino Uno instead of using Arduino Nano. Take the female to female jumper wire and connect the positive pins of the LEDs with the digital pins of the Arduino. Do the connection as I instructed in the screen. You can also check the circuit diagram from the description of the video. Now 
Now take the IR sensor and fix it in the one end of the wooden piece. Do all the connection for the IR sensor also. Connect the VCC with plus 5 volt. Connect the ground to the ground pin. Connect the signal pin with the A0 pin. After you have done this connection, take a lithium battery of 3.7 volt and place it exactly in the middle portion. Now you have to give the power supply to the DC motor and the Arduino separately. Power up the Arduino with the 3.7 volt lithium battery and give the 12 volt DC supply to the motor. You can also use a potentiometer like this to vary the speed of the motor. Here I am not using the potentiometer. But if you want, you can use it. Connect the Arduino with your computer and follow the steps what I do. Go to your Arduino IDE software and open the following code. Here in this portion, I initialize the pins of the LEDs and the IR sensor. Here I declare the LED pins as output and sensor pin as input. Now go down and here you can see the option to display the text which you want. So I simply write here YouTube but you can also type your own name or some other text which you want to display. Now go to the tools and select the port and the Arduino type. Finally upload the code to the Arduino. Now one more thing we have to do. Put such a black line under the rotating wooden piece. Generally this black line used as the input of the IR sensor. When the IR sensor detects the black line, the LED will turn on. Give the power supply to the Arduino and do some calibration for the IR sensor. Calibrate the potentiometer of the IR sensor so that it will detect the black line properly. Now from here you can see when the black line falls under the IR sensor, the right LED of the sensor is turned off. But when the sensor comes to the white area, the LED becomes turned on. This is how the total system works. Now give a 12 volt DC power supply to the motor and rotate the LEDs.